Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman44. If y'all been following, I'm working on a, uh, a 430 case that's got a stuck left rear brake. There's obviously some other issues, you know, with the tractor. I need to get this thing to where I can roll it around a little more easily. So I'm going to go ahead and work a little bit on the brake today, see if we can figure out what's stuck inside there. I still, right now, don't even know if it's uh, disc brakes or band brakes. So hang in there. We'll go ahead and take this thing apart. It looks like it's fairly simple. There's the linkage down here. You have to take the, the cap nuts off and everything, the lock nut. So I've got those removed. I've got all of these loosened except for one Allen head, a 3 8 Allen head down at the bottom, a stud. I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. We're going to see if we can tap and tap and beat on this and uh, jostle it loose and get that pulled off and expose whatever it is under there. It's been very surprising. Uh, most everything I've taken off so far has been really easily uh, easily dislodged. Uh, I haven't really had any exceptionally stuck bolts or anything like that at all anywhere on the tractor. Ah, got to get an end wrench on there. Well, I got it cracked loose all the way around, but boy, I tell you what, I can look down inside there and it's loose all the way around. But boy, that's, if it's shoes, they're expanded out in there and they're actually stuck into this, uh, into this drum housing, if that's what it is. You can see it wants to pull out and then pull itself right back in. Well, I think we're fixing to get it. Ah, well, it's got a disc surface, but it's also got a band around the outside edge. And look at all the crud and corruption that's inside here. So the band is definitely, definitely stuck to, uh, well, I don't really know what I'm looking at. This is a new one on me. So I'm going to have to take that apart and figure out what's going on. But obviously it's been leaking just a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fluid. A little bit of rear end grease. So we're going to clean all that up. We get this apart. Make sure that shaft is freed. And then we can proceed. Pulling this off of here, I should be able to rotate that shaft right there with the other end on the ground. The differential working through the axle should allow that shaft to turn if that's the only problem that there is inside this area. If that turns, that tells me there's no differential or rear end problem or final drive problem. So I just grab the hub here. There you go, leader. So there might be a leak and seal in here or something, but then again, uh, whatever I need to repair inside there, and this thing will be good to go on that part. Well, we got him up there where we can get a little closer look at him. This is a this is a disc brake pad of sorts. Looks like there's a crack right across it right here, and also there's a band that goes around the outside edge. But look real close and look how the band, and you can see a shoe inside that band and that's all just completely ate up in there so what i'm gonna do we'll go ahead and get this thing taken apart and look at there there's actually a drain hole right there in the very bottom i guess that drain hole might have been plugged up but it doesn't matter once we get this apart we'll come back and uh, look at it a little bit closer so at least now we all know um, what it looks like inside the uh, inside the braking on the 430 case that's a new one on me. You know, I don't have anything this new. Well, I'm not counting the Kubotas. This is probably the newest wheel tractor I've got. Uh, the other new one I've got is a 1955 or 56 800 Ford, something like that. And this one here, I ran the serial number, and it's a 1968. So it's definitely the, the newest old tractor that I've got. And it's still, how many years is that? How many years old is that? I don't know, 50-something at least. Yeah, 54 years old, I guess by today's standards, it's still a pretty old tractor. I mean, you know, it's 50, 50 years plus in age. So you know what? We're going to wait and clean this up. We'll come back with the new parts and pieces, and we'll get some reassembly. And for now, this is Trackman 44, and I'm out of here.